is what he has shown me years ago, and I haven't found anything yet to refute it. It just kind of confirms it over the years, is that it, it is uh, his believers will be taken and protected right before the, the chip or the name or the number or the symbol or, or whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. is, is, is um, enforced on the world. So worship of the beast and the mark, name, number of his name, right before that, that those announcements are made to where the entire world must, per, must uh, get those. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll take his people. And so we're going to be here for quite a bit. Did you give that any thought? A few weeks back I called you and mentioned something about the deception, about the mark, you know, and um, yeah, you know, about are. being I mean, the mark, and being put in the forehead or on the hand. Um, I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't know how it reads in the Hebrew. I don't read Hebrew. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you would do literally spell that out as to what it says exactly in the Hebrew. But The Hebrew calls it a mark. It's but a, a the mark. mark, couldn't that just be uh, a play on words? I mean, the mark, literally, I think, I mean, if you're spiritually deceived, then you are intellectually deceived. If you're intellectually deceived and you've fallen for the lie, then you are deceived. Yeah. And a lot of people believe, you know, like you were saying, the rapture, and, you know, they believe, you know. And well, I don't you know, think believing system. in a rapture damns your soul. It just puts you in... Right. Even, even the political system that people have bought into, the system that, 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 that our whole system is an absolute lie. Yeah. Everything about it is a lie. It's all deception. Well, I do think that he, what he's going to do, if you've been to my site, crystalcityfraud.com, okay. uh -huh. where he's going to bring this Disneyland in the sky down and hover it above Earth, I do believe that that's Nibiru. It'll wow. be renamed as the New Jerusalem. And if you want a tour of it, which you will give tours, then you must be stamped in some kind of way. You must join his kingdom because this is the kingdom of God. Well, like you were saying, you know, you stay, stay away. If you know better, you're not going to go, which is, yeah. means that you don't carry the mark. Yeah. And, and, but you know what? Most of the people at that point, when it comes down to being enforced, will be gone. But his people, which is just a remnant of how many you really think are his to begin with. Mm -hmm. there was the world I mean, if, there's, if, if, if there was 20 million today, and this yeah. is who we went through numbers two years ago, me and him, and I was floored. Doesn't it specifically refer to the earth dwellers who will be here? The what? The earth dwellers, the dwellers on earth, those who uh, who will be enduring the tribulation that, that we're going to avoid? They're all going to be here. They're all going to be confined to earth, earth, Satan's people? Right. The Subterranean and earth space? Dwellers. I don't consider myself an earth dweller. Those in space are going to be confined here. You know, I didn't even talk about the comet coming, uh, but we got some real fireworks coming just as it is for July July 3rd. There could be a comet coming. Of course, they're saying that it's a comet. I don't believe it's a comet. I believe it's Nibiru. Uh -huh. And I believe they're going to try to shoot it in half with a missile. So and what's going to happen, and, and you'll, you can read about it online, uh... Where it talks about, I think I've got one more week before in July. I Maybe I don't. Book. I read your book where you said in the early east in the morning sky in the east that you can see the, the planet you're, you're yeah. seeing. Well, the thing is, is they're going to try to blow this Nibiru up and it's going to backfire because half of it's going to hit the earth. And then all of those, I, I have said over and over again how it's carrying, it's a hollow planet and it's carrying millions of its forces. Uh -huh. They're going to get away and they're going to be confined to earth. So now we have them here. <laughs> they could be here already for all we know. Yeah. And so this, this whole thing that NASA is going to try to pull off on July 4th with blowing this comet up in half, another card to look at, if, it, if this isn't a particular one, is the fact that I have seen uh, chunks of Mars floating in our space in visions, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so if they try to blow this comet up and it hits Jupiter and blows Jupiter up, uh, any, any kind of impact on Jupiter you is what blows that, Mars though? up next door to it. Do you think we'll be able to see a lot of this stuff with all the chemtrails and stuff they're doing to the skies on this? I don't know. Well, you know, that's, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, some people are masked with chemtrails to death. I don't have them here anymore. I don't have a chemtrail problem anymore. I haven't seen them in my skies for quite some time. Uh, I a couple just, months now. I have war going this place to the, you know, it's to where it's a waste of money for them to try. And if they do come and get a sliver somewhere, then I know someplace I missed. You're in Ohio, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm in a I'm in a three horse town here, two horse town, and <laughs> and, and there's just no way uh, I could even get all whole cities myself here. I mean, it would just Cleveland is so plastered with towers. Right. I mean, it's Tower Central, a tower every five feet. Um, I'll, 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 there might be someone else. I'll let someone else talk. I just want to ask you one question. The gentleman uh, a while ago mentioned the Oregon site for uh, Ann Copper Cooper, I think it was. Yeah. What was uh, what, what did he say that was? For clarity, what was the? Uh, do you recall what what he said? Well, for Oregon? Yeah. Oh, you can order order Oregon off the website at tearingdownstrongholds.com. 
And around that the interval there's actually, there. Uh, there's actually, an, uh, you know, uh, all the paperwork right there. You can just fill it out and, and uh, buy it right then and there, right? Yeah. You can go to TearingDownStrongholds.com. And Ann sells orgone pendants. And Rhonda uh, makes the orgone. Six, twelve packs, twenty-four packs. Okay. Uh, home five ounce orgones, whatever. And both of them are on the site. You can also go to Orgone Blasters. I, I read. I read somewhere on the on the internet. I was reading about orgone. Some uh, guy named Rice. Right? Have you ever familiar with that name? Uh, he who? said that the earth, the, the the whole earth, is made up of an orgone type substance. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, there are some areas, and if you look at the um, Ark of the Covenant itself, uh, it was made of substances of orgone, but it was used as gold as the base. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. Very interesting stuff. It's nothing we're making up. It's stuff that's already been there. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Lord just showed us how we can use it to help safeguard ourselves against their attacks these, these last days. You know, uh, you mentioned divination before. With uh, we all know that divination is, you know, is is, is, is you know bad news. Um, but uh, I'm not sure, and I can't recall. But doesn't uh, doesn't the, the Lord uh, clearly explain that for those who are seeking the truth, that He puts tidbits here and there for those who are seeking for confirmation, not necessarily for divination, but for confirmation for those who are putting pieces together, he gives you confirmation that you're headed in the right direction. Yeah, well, these are the same people that would call prophets diviners because they're warning of right. future events. <laughs> well, I don't think it's divination. I think it's the Lord leading you and, and giving you confirmation. That's this form of teaching you and yeah. talking to you, basically. These people just want to attack, and they want to hear what they've heard from somebody else. It didn't make any, any sense from the person they heard it from. Right. They just want to attack. That's all it is. Right. I, I wasn't looking for a reason to to pick on someone. No one wants to listen. I think God gave us two ears and one one mouth, right? Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> what? he, he put that. me in these codes a long time ago, and, and the Christians might reject him, and that's fine, but I'll tell you what who pays attention to him. That's Satan's right. people. Amen. Satan's well, people. Sherry, I won't keep you any longer. God bless you, and uh, we'll be talking again soon. All right. Thanks for calling in. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Listener call in line, folks. <laughs> Two six zero three five six twenty six eleven. Call in with your comments or questions. Let me get back to this comment I was talking about. I know some of you are saying, "What's that?" <laughs> um, let's see. Because Rhonda sent me information earlier today, and it's called uh, the Temple One, T E M P E L One, and you can Google it. And it's supposedly some kind of comet that's coming up between um, Mars and Jupiter. It has some kind of orbit between Mars and Jupiter. Uh, and so, uh, uh, this is, this goes along with a lot of things I've seen. I don't know if it's a particular comet itself, uh, but I have seen Mars in chunks in our atmosphere. And we know that they, they, they practiced run a couple of years ago trying to blow up Jupiter. They, they sent something, some kind of a shuttle or I don't know what you want to call it, armed with nuke weapons to hit Ju Jupiter. And supposedly it failed, but I think it was the test launch. Uh, what they want to do is mimic the star of Bethlehem. And I've told you that the dark star that has come up from behind the sun, that is, that is up by the sun, it's a dark star, was the sign, the signal that the Antichrist uh, is ready to appear. And so what they want to do with this Jupiter thing is blow it up and mimic the star of Bethlehem. They are literally, folks, just going to mimic everything you can imagine about the Bible. They've, they've left nothing out. And so what's going to happen is if, if and when they do blow up Jupiter, and we already know Jupiter is 90% the gaseous planet. It's almost a sun. If it was 100%, it would be a sun, but it's 90% or whatever, mostly a gaseous planet. And what they're going to do is blow it up uh, to look like the star of Bethlehem. And when they do it, it's going to blow up Mars beside it. And Mars is going to be left in chunks. I think I do believe that was the planet I've seen in, in chunks. I don't know if it was Mars for sure. Uh, but I did see a planet and three huge chunks floating in our atmosphere. And so that's what I think is going to happen with